Hey y'all, happy Monday. Um, it is the 1st of April today for me. Um, yeah, ready to start a new month. I have a really fun TBR planned. Um, I just got home from work, was eating dinner, um, about to go over to my friend's house. We're doing a Star Wars um, RPG and it has been so much fun. We're about to finish up um, the first round of it and then I downloaded the second round so we'll maybe start that tonight. Otherwise, we will take it on next time. Um, but yeah, so my reading plans for this week are I just started listening to Warbreaker. That'll probably be going on for most of the month because I'm listening to that on script. So that'll be the audiobook for the month. And then, let me grab it. Ugh. Also, I have to start Eldest, which I haven't yet today. But I probably will when I get back home from my friends. And then I am about halfway into The Hunger Games. I need to just sit down and finish this. I've been kind of like pecking away at it. Um, because I haven't had the time to just sit down and like plow through the whole thing. Well, I have had the time. I just haven't done it, but whatever. And then I also, I don't know if I'll end up starting. <laughs> I don't know if I'll end up starting hungry, but this was the pick that you guys picked when I had you pick from my haul and you guys really wanted to know what this one was about. I do know for sure that this is a standalone, so that makes me confused about what depth this dystopian can go into in a standalone. That doesn't seem very big, but I'm still excited and you guys picked it. And obviously I like it too because I bought it at some point. And then, yeah, I actually totally need to film another haul video. <sighs> I literally just filmed one last week, guys. But I got more birthday presents still and then um after i read beautiful bastard i ordered almost the entire series and yeah and then i went and bought more books and i just need to film another haul video so i also need to do an unhaul video because i do try to get rid of some at the same time i try to be good it doesn't always work but i try so those are what the reading plans are set up like this week. I need to start Eldest, want to finish the Hunger Games, and start Hungry. Um, and yeah, that's what it's looking like. Um, this week is jam-packed. Tonight was supposed to be a free night, but then this is the only night this week we can play our games, so I have to go do that. And then tomorrow I have my church group because it's moved, because there's an event happening in the church on Thursday, which I'm going to, which is comedian John Christ. He's a Christian comedian. I'm going to go see him. And then Friday, I'm heading to Bismarck, North Dakota, for a young adults retreat that we do every April. And depending on the day that you're seeing this, it is, I believe, the 4th, or no, it's the 15th of April. So never mind. I'll cut that out. Um, anyway, I will check in with you later to see how the reading's going. Bye. Hi, friends. Oh, my goodness. I am super sick right now. I stayed home from work today because when I woke up this morning, I had a fever of just 99.9, um, .9, but I was super achy, and my throat was, like, swollen shut when I woke up, and just, like, um, a headache from, like, stuffiness, like, it wasn't one of my normal headaches, like, I literally had a headache because there was so much pressure built up, and, oh. It was just horrible. So, yeah, I've just been kind of being lazy today. Um, I did have to leave the house because, like, I needed to buy some cold medicine because I didn't have any. And, like, I need to go back to work tomorrow just because I can't use up all my sick time in April. But, oh, my nose is sore. It's like popped a blood vessel in the end of my nose. Anyway, I'm sure you care about that so much. But um, got my Gatorade and my tissue box because it's been rough. But I did the other day. I started hungry. I'm only like 30 pages in. 
seems like a really interesting society how it's set up, but I'll refrain from saying more because I don't really know what's happening yet. There's only been a couple chapters and I don't even know, so we'll wait. I started my reread of Eldest. I'm behind though, so I'm trying to catch up on that today because I didn't really do anything besides like my trip to Target just exhausted me. Like my muscles hurt so bad. So I took an Epsom salt bath and like steamed myself a little and had some tea and just trying to feel better because yeah, I got to get back in the office tomorrow. So, and then I'm going on a trip this weekend. So I really need to feel better. But anyway, just thought I'd give you an update. I don't know how productive this reading week is going to end up being because of that. But that's where we're at with everything. So I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Hey, friends. Yes, my voice got even worse. So I just got back from the conference last night that I went to with my church friends. And it was very fun, but I always lose my voice because it's really loud and I get super crazy with lots of people because I'm an extrovert and it just fuels me, which is so fun. So this whole stack of books behind me is not what I'm talking about. These are all books I need to like categorize and like put into my doc. But I finally, guys, went to the library. Um, I only grabbed three books because, as you know, I have too many to read already. But I really want to try getting books from the library instead of purchasing everything. So that is an endeavor I'm going to try to help me slow down my purchasing that I do. Um, and so I'll just do a quick haul for you of the three that I picked up. I picked up The Cage by Megan Shepard. Never have heard of this before, but this girl wakes up in a cage. And it's kind of dystopian, I guess. I don't know. I picked up The Wood by Chelsea Bobolsky. Um, there's this girl who's supposed to guard the woods. That's what I read. So I'm being super vague. And then I picked up Red Sister by Mark Lawrence because both um, Thoughts on Tomes and Pierre Ford love this series. Um, the final book came out recently, so the whole series is out. And I know this is about killer nuns. So let's go. So, what I finished reading this week, um, that's my breakfast. What I finished reading this week, I finished The Hunger Games. This was a reread, obviously. Um, I really enjoyed myself. Um, I was a little harsher of Katniss this time, but it's kind of cool to see, like, what her arc looks like when you know the full thing. Excuse me. Um, it was good. It was good. I actually, like, still don't know how I feel about it, but I'm excited to read Catching Fire, and I might pick that up soon, even though I have so many other books to read. Also, I started my reread of Eldest. I'm super behind because I started it, and then I went on my trip, so I'm really supposed to be, like, up to here already, but I'm not. Um, this is also pretty enjoyable so far. One of the things, I feel like they are very hard on Aragon. He's just a kid, man, and they give him a really hard time. So, that's been interesting. Then, I also started reading this arc called Killing November. I'm hoping to finish that today or tomorrow. I'm halfway through it. Um, it's about this girl who, her dad, something is happening in her family, and so her dad sends her to a boarding school. Well, to get to the boarding school, they drug her and bring her there under cover of darkness. And when she wakes up, they say, you're not allowed to know where you are. And welcome to, basically, it's like a spy school. And so she can't trust anybody. Um, and then somebody dies and she kind of gets, like, blamed for it. And she's trying to, like, prove her innocence um, in a place where, like, nobody tells the truth. So... It's been interesting so far, and I'm really liking it. What else did I start reading? I think that's all that I started reading. I need to start reading A Curse So Dark. I need to start reading A Curse So Dark and Lonely soon as well. So not a ton of reading got done. I was very sick, and I just didn't feel like reading this time when I was sick. Usually being sick can be like a good thing because I'll get a lot done, but I didn't. So... Anyway, hoping for good things next week. And um, thanks so much for watching this. 
sorry that I'm croaking like a frog, but um, there'll probably be a couple more videos of me like this because I need to film the rest of the week's videos. So I'm going to sound like this, but thank you for watching. I put up new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you can watch some more right now. Bye.